Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today I want to show you how you can connect any hard drive, any of these devices to your iPad Pro 11 or 12.9. Let's go ahead and check it out. So guys, uh, how many of you actually spent the money and bought a one terabyte iPad. If you did, let me know in the common area because I definitely didn't. And one of the things that was really disappointed with me is that the USB-C port on the iPad really doesn't support any kind of drive access. In other words, you can't use a USB stick. You can't do, uh, use any of those things. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can have access to all these things and more with one additional device. So stay tuned and watch this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, with the iPad uh, Pro, my previous version, I had one of these little devices, and you'll notice that I had a little memory card there. So this was a really easy way for me to transfer content uh, from my computer, and then um, using either you know this connector for, for the iPad, or if I was going with another device, I'd use my USB-C, and I'd connect it, and I'd have access to this. And I installed, there's just a program available in the App Store that I think was a usb uh, so you would install that and this would work. Well, guess what? With the iPad Pro, uh, this no longer works. So I had to throw that out of the way. So I went ahead and said, well, maybe if I pick up a USB-C uh, drive like this, now that we have USB-C, it would work. So this is, uh, I think, a SanDisk product. Yep. Uh, and you have standard USB here. And then on this side, you have USB-C. If I connect this to my Pixel, if I connect this to my Samsung Tab 4, this will connect and I can see the content, but you can't do it with one of these. The same thing is true if you use one of these. Uh, this, no access whatsoever. So let me show you an additional device that you can purchase that's gonna expand the memory of this device uh, incredibly. Let's go ahead and check it out. So what I picked up was this product uh, from Rav Power called the File Hub. It's a File Hub Plus. Uh, so this little product here is basically, while it looks like it's a hotspot, it really isn't. But it is a media sharing device. Um, it has the ability to share content uh, through SD card. Uh, it also has the ability to share content that's connected to any of these ports. And you'll notice that you have right here USB-C and also USB. Uh, it also has Ethernet capability so that you can connect this and use this as a, for, as a hub as well. But what I'm using this primarily for is to have access to all these devices. So all you have to do is if you pick up uh, this device, and it's relatively inexpensive, I'm going to share the link and all the specs in a second, um, you can connect this literally either using USB-C or the standard USB, right? So all you do is do one of these things, and I'm going to show you how this works in a second. You plug it in here. And once you have it plugged in, you boot this up, you connect via Wi-Fi, and you have full access to all the file and the file structure, the file directory on this USB stick. The same thing works with this. Uh, I could either use the USB-C or I can use the USB connector. If it's plugged into this, I have full access. And if I have this guy right here connected to it via a USB-C cable, it will also work. Let me show you where you'd get the product, how much it costs, and then we'll go into the demo. All right, so let's take a look at these two products. Uh, so the two products that we're looking at are both from Rav Power. I'm gonna have them in the description area on the bottom. And what you can see here is that really the difference that we're looking at is gonna be uh, battery capacity because they're both self-powered. Uh, one is single band, so that's uh, 2.4 gigahertz, and the other one is five gigahertz and 2.4. I opted to go with this one. It's a little bit larger, but it has um, both uh, bands. Uh, you'll notice here uh, the different capacities when it comes to, again, the, the data transfer rate, right? And then, uh, and then as we go down here, this is where it gets really interested. So you have data transfer methods. You can connect a variety of different uh, medias to, to it. And more importantly, this supports up to four terabytes of space. So four terabytes. So think about that. If you picked up a 64 gig uh, Mac, uh, an iPad Pro, or you picked up a 256, you can expand the capacity up to four terabytes. And you're doing that by simply uh, buying one of these at $42, and I think the other one's around $50. I'm going to have both links out there. Let me show you how it works. All right, so let me show you how this is going to work. So what we're going to do is I already have this charged. I'm going to place this USB uh, drive, this memory stick, and this is a 256 gig memory stick and again I can connect this which is one terabyte uh, to this as well and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to power it up so I've been testing this uh, for the last week 
So it's going to turn on and it's going to connect immediately to the 5G. So you'll notice that there's a couple symbols here. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can use this as, an, uh, as a hub for the internet. So you can connect uh, through the ethernet port and you can use that. So you have some other features here. I'm just using this as a as a media sharing device, right? So I've connected this, I booted it up, and it's right now has a 5G signal that is being um, you know, made available to my tablet or any device, because you can actually connect multiple devices to this. So now the next thing um, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this aside, and on my iPad Pro, I went ahead and installed the RAV File Hub. Now, before you can actually connect to it, you need to make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi that's available on the hub to be able to stream the content uh, to this device. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that I've connected to uh, the actual file hub, you notice that it's not flashing anymore because it has a connection. I want to put it over here to the side and I'm going to launch the uh, file hub software. Now what it's immediately going to do is it's going to start looking to detect the actual drive itself. So it's detecting and it immediately found that I have a 234 gig USB stick that's connected, right? Now, there's a couple things that you can do. You can back up your iPad. There's a lot of cool features that you have, but what I'm using it primarily for is to access content that I have on a USB stick. So if I go into file management, now what I have right here is a file directory structure that is very similar to what I would have expected if I connected to the USB port here. So I'm going to go into EBP man sources, and these are videos that I've created. And you notice how this just, just looks like going through, I'm sorry, Windows and going through a file directory structure. Now, if I want to access a file that I have here, so like I want to watch one of these videos, and this is, I'm going to click on this one. This is, um, this is a video that we'll be posting in the next couple of days. Let's go ahead and launch it. And what I want you to see is how quickly that video started up. And that's coming from this hub. This is a 4K video file. Uh, Let's go ahead, and, and you do have in the video player a couple options here where you can move forward, you can maximize, you can minimize, so it has a really decent uh, video player, but you can see how clear this image is because this is a 4K file. So I'm going to come out of it, and that uh, 4K file was 1 gig. I'm going to do a 1.3 gig file, and I want you to watch how fast this is. I'm going to launch it. All right, so this is the iPad Pro case that we just uh, reviewed a couple days ago as well. So you notice how quick that's coming up across. And again, this is going to give all of these little doodads that I had um, new life because I can plug everything into this and then I can uh, have access to my iPad. Now, this is also going to help me when it comes to video editing and bringing content in. So I wanted to share with you again that the RAV Power File Hub solution is a great way for you to expand the storage of your iPad Pro. As a matter of fact, this will work with any iPad, but specifically the iPad Pro and iPad Pro 11 will benefit from this because it doesn't support physical USB sticks connecting to that USB-C port. Now, for those of you who may be curious about some of the other features uh, that the hub brings in, so you'll notice that it does organize things uh, nicely. So because I'm connected to that drive, it will allow me to get all my videos, all my photos, all my music. Uh, it does have some backup capabilities, which frankly I'm not using. Uh, and it uh, has a photo backup as well that I'm not using. I'm using it strictly as a media hub. You also notice that it says that this device is not connected to the internet because the hub is not connected uh, uh, to the internet in the home, which it could, right? But once again, I'm using this this as a file storage um, expansion device. All right, guys, so that concludes our kind of review of how you can use this file hub to expand the storage of your iPad Pro. And again, it will work with any hard drive that can connect via USB and can be powered by the unit up to four terabytes. So let me know what you think in the comment area below. Are you going to pick up one of these? Do you think it's worth it? I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next one.